Hello inventors, this is Soro. In this video, we will learn how we can create an app that can upload our gallery images to Google Drive. So let me show you the example first, then we will create this app step by step. So let me show you, here you can see in my screen, there's two screen. In the left side, you will find my Google Drive particular folder screen and in the right side, you can see my app screen. So now let me just click on that select any image option. See, click on that. Now we have to select any image. So let me just go to the my download folder and select an image like this one and wait some second. And you can see that's the image here. Now we need to click on that upload. And in the left side, you can see here, there is nothing right now. Let me just click on that upload and wait some seconds. Any file to Google Drive and it's uploading successful. You can see now we have tcv file.jpg image. So here we go. So we are using a MIT App Inventor to create this project. So open ai2.appinventor.mit.edu and click on start new project. And my project name is upload file and okay. Now that's our first screen here. Now we need to just drag and drop some things like one button and one more button, one image and one label. Okay. Now click on that button and we just need to type here like a select image and on that button second button we will say it like upload image and let me just make it like 28 like this one is also 28 now let me just go click on a screen and make all this thing in a center like this and we need to just add some space here so i'm going to add click on that image and i'm going to make this with this like uh, 70 percent or 60 percent and the height i'm going to make this one at least 40 percent like uh, now we need to click on that label and change that tag we are going to hide that label okay after completing that design so let me just click on a screen and change that background color change that background color of that select button so i'm to make this one is a little bit greener so like or you can see as a tile color let me just try yeah i love it let me just change to white and let me just make this whole background color of a screen is black look like this and click on that upload image and that background color also and make this background color a little bit greener it's like we are uploading the image like this fine now that's our label here it's label right now here so we, we have to disable this label actually for right now let me just make it uh, enable for like now so that's our design here you can change your screen name click on screen and change that screen name to like screen one to upload images to google drive like that cool now we need to use your one extension to convert our images to base 64 string actually we can't upload our di images directly to google right so we have to convert that image uh, you know as a string format okay so how we can do that so for that we have to use one extension and that is we already have used that i will give you that direct link of that extension you don't need to find that like this so open this image to base 64 extension classic extension and now we need to download this extension and scroll down and you'll find here that extension ax file click on that go to the mit app inventor click on extension click on import extension and import this and import click on import now drag and drop this extension here like this now let me just go to the block section so here is block so whenever someone click on that button one it means that is our image picker this one select one so now we need to call image picker so what we can do here we can do two things here we can call image picker on that button click or we can choose directly image picker also here so go to the media and you find your image picker this one you can directly use that here okay so you can uh, remove one step also so what i will do here i'm going to delete that select image from here and click on that text for image picker this one and i'm to make this one as a custom color save empty this one it's fine tile make this one text white 
and just change that text to select image actually it will be good yeah fine and make this with is at least 70 percent and make this one uh, with is also 70 percent cool now whenever someone select click on that select image button so automatically our gallery will open okay so go to the blog so after click on image picker whenever someone select image so after picking the image we will get that image in that image one so set image one dot picture this one delete this and click on image picker and you'll find your image dot selection image picker dot selection because what uh, whatever we have select that image and this will here image picker dot selection here cool now that's our image here now we have to convert that image in a base 64 format and we have to get that string so click on label one and you can see label one dot attached here and click on base 64 and you will find your encode image here and the path of that image is image like this one image one dot picture make sure this is image one dot picture is our path cool now now what do we need to do here but now we have image and now we have a string also now whenever someone click on that upload image so we have to upload that image to our google drive so now let me just connect our google drive to our app first so open your google drive and we need to create one folder here so click on new and you can see the folder and you can say like here upload app image that's my folder name and click on create now we can see upload app image just double click on that and here is nothing right now you can see here click on that upload here and you will see the share option click on that share okay and we need to click on that change to anyone with this link now we have to upload that image so we have to copy this actually url you can see viewer select this to editor okay now we need to copy this link and done and we have to paste this link in somewhere so like let me just paste this link in the url or let me just paste this link in my uh, vs code also here see that's our url now what we need to do here we need to create one app script okay google app script to connect that google drive okay connect that google drive and app inventor app okay so how we can do that so click on that new and you can see here more option and you will find your google app script so click on that and create and share click on that and wait some seconds and here you will find it's a new actually a uh, new app script now i'm going to use here that the uh, older version okay so click on use legacy editor here and wait some seconds remove this form and you can see you will redirect to their like old version so now dismiss this and we need to paste one code here and it's really a simple code i will give you that code in the uh, description okay so you can see that's the code function that is simple function it's a post function now i'm just copy paste here like this now you can see the folder id okay so what is folder id recently we have created one folder here so we have to get that folder id so how we can get it you can see that's the url after folders you will find here that url one two like that before that question mark before that question mark we have to copy that url from here and that is our that is our folder id you can see here that one is okay let me just hide this this one is our this one is our folder id so go to here and title project and paste your google id here like this cool now we need to click on that resources option click on advanced google service and wait some seconds and you will find here the drive option you see drive api so we need to enable this it's on right now and okay now you can change your untitled project name to suppose like uh, my drive app like this and okay now we need to click on publish option and deploy as a web app and then who has access to the app so we are going to use here anyone even anonymous okay and deploy this 
Wait some seconds, review permission. Okay. And we need to sign in to our Google account actually to make sure the permission. Click on advance and go to my drive. Yes. And now we need to allow that folder so anyone can upload images to my folder. Now you will find your current web app URL. So we have to copy that URL and OK. And then we have to paste URL in somewhere like an editor, any editor, this one. Now go to the MIT App Inventor. Now we have our uh, Google App Script. Now we have folder. Now let's go to the MIT App Inventor block coding. Now we have to create one variable here in a slice variable and you can say that the uh, web app URL web app URL and make it as a string like this and paste it here. Okay, that's the URL that we have just copied from uh, copied from here. Okay, so now that's your URL here. Now we need to use your one post method. So go to the design and you can see here in the extension, uh, sorry, experiment, no, I think, wait a second, connectivity. And you can see here a web option, drag and drop this. And we need to go to the block section here. And after, after like whenever we click on that, uh, this upload image option button too. Okay, so click on that block. And on that button click, it means button two click. We have to set our web URL, set web URL. You find here, set web URL, this one, this one, set web URL, this one, to as a, this one URL, this variable. Okay, now we have to call here one thing here, click on web and you can see here text. So see post text, this one, call it here. And here we need to call the string. So click on text and you will find your join this one. Okay. Now we have to call a lot of things here. So first we need to call the file name. So click on that string and just copy paste it here. And we just need to type here. Let me just make it as a zoom. So you will get that pattern like this. Okay. And we just need to type here file name like this and equal. Okay, and we have to add more like uh, more strings here, like add on two and three, four. Like, let me just try to add some more, like this. Now, just copy paste this and here, and we have to just type here our file name. Okay, so you can use your like a uh, random integer also. So, like, uh, if I will use your random number, this one. Okay, and then my file name is like I'm to make it as a join. So I'm to make this one text and you can see here join option, this one. So I will make that my file name is like a dot jpg with the random number of anything like, or you can use uh, one loop also. Okay, so now that's for just for image name. Now we need to use your mime type. So we just need to click on text here, then call it here, and we have to use mime type. So just simply here and and just type here M I M E by API type and equal. Okay, and then we have to use your mime type also. So I'm going to use your data. One more thing is like data and like column, and then we have to use one more is like uh, this mime type is like. Uh, image because we are uh, uploading your image so if you want to upload any other thing so you have to uh, use one more extension to get the mime type of that particular file you can upload pdf file also in the drive but right now we are just uploading the images only so uh, that's why i'm using a jpeg like that and then we have to use your folder id so which folder id and which in which folder we have to upload that file so we just, just define your and person and that like folder and then id equal now i'm to use your more strings like here let me just make it small so let me just make one more here two more like this so it's folder id so we just need to copy paste and we need to here assign our folder id so what's our folder id is you can see in our app you can see that's our folder id so just copy that and like go to the app inventor and paste it here that's our folder id okay no 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 that's not make sure you have to just copy that 
or you can just select that and right click on that and then copy and then go to MIT App Inventor and then paste it no it's not working actually let me just copy this id from here actually it's not working in app script like copy pasting is not working let me just try to upload yes it's working let me just remove that and let me just paste it yes now we have uh, like pasted our folder id now last one thing is our data okay so which data we have to upload in our drive so we have to just assign that we are uploading data is like uh, ampersand again like this and then just type your data and equal and the which data we have to upload like recently we have converted our image here to the base so for that we have to actually convert that click on that web and you will find your uri encode wait some second and you will get that uri encode this one and we have to use your label one dot text this one cool now we are getting that label that is string and convert that uri encode and then um, we are passing that okay now you can use uh, like a loader also to show that the image is uploading or not so for that we have to use one notifier here so let me make it as a zoom out is cool now go to the design and you can see here in the uh, notifier you will get that notifier in the user interface and you can see notifier just drag and drop it here go to the blog on whenever someone click on the button click so we will call your notifier and you will see here so progress bar so you can see here so progress bar this one pro progress dialog this one and we have to display the message so we just say like uh, one string and we just say like uh, let me just make and in the title we are going to say like uh, uploading file like this okay now to check that our data is uploaded or not in the google right so for that we have to check our web dot got file this one or you can say like got text sorry got text because we, we are uploading the text so that's why got text so let me just do it here whenever we got text so we have to check your condition like click on control like this and you can see the uh, files condition this one and now we have to check that the response content is equal like logic and this response content is equal to a string so what is string you can see in the app code we have defined your the your file successfully uploaded when we get that that data or like that a string it means oh no actually it's not uh, working actually it's copy visiting is not working here let me just try again once more time yeah it's working now let me just go to the MIT app inventor and delete this and just copy here and paste it here your file is successfully uploaded is equal to that response content then we can display a like a response so we can display the response content so where we can display uh, our response content so we can display that response content on that label also here so we just i'm going to make this label here and i'm going to remove that label from here okay so and go to the block but the thing is actually uh, you can use another label also actually because whenever we convert that uh, image so this will display your, it's a long string so that's why i'm going to use here one more label and remove that text from here and just change that text color to white okay now go to the blog on that label 2 is label 2 dot set label 2 dot text and then to upload that response content here otherwise else it's not uh, it's not a, a your file successful uploaded so we can display in here like something went wrong okay so like uh, we just display here something went wrong like this or in the last oh no it's not else if it's just a else okay so we have to remove that else if from here and just put else and in the last we will disable our notifier dialog box you will see your dismiss dialog box this one the design let me just hide this label one label one is for off okay and let me just try again now let's select that image 
go to the my drive here upload image here and select any image download krishna and we need to click on that upload image uploading file let's say wait some seconds oh file is successfully uploaded yes that's here so that's the really amazing app that he has created okay so you can do a lot more thing here in using this app okay so you can create your own ocr app and there are a lot of things you can do with this if you need any help or if you have some doubt related to this app just comment on the video i'll try my best to solve your all problems thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe my channel like this video and share this video have a nice day be safe bye bye